Welcome to Michael Potts F1, everything Formula One, but from a photographer's point of view. Max Verstappen has been crowned the 2022 Formula One world champion. It's thoroughly deserved as he's completely dominated this year's championship. The manner in which he won the championship was a little bit bizarre and perhaps a little bit of an anticlimax considering how dominant he's been over the course of the season. I've recently done a video explaining how the points in Formula One work, but after the Japanese Grand Prix, myself and a few of the other Formula One journalists were left a little bit confused on how the FIA had interpreted the rules of shortened races. While Max was awarded the correct points as the rules have been written, I do think that these need to be looked at properly for next year. But it shouldn't be when a race is shortened or stopped that defines how many points are awarded, but rather how many laps are completed by the driver. Hopefully the FIA and Formula One will take this up and adjust the rules for next year to make things more transparent. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend the event in Suzuka. So in this vlog, I'm going to look back over the course of the year and look at the key moments that gave Max Verstappen the championship. This photograph comes from Barcelona winter testing. It's late in the afternoon on the final day of testing. Max has clocked the fourth fastest time, but Red Bull appears to be trailing the other teams. The Red Bull car looks a little bit basic compared to its rivals. Look at the shape of the nose and the side pods, and you'll see how those evolve during the course of the season. One of the great things about testing in Barcelona is we often get beautiful light towards the end of the winter's day. It's lovely and yellow and warm. I've shot this image with a fairly fast shutter speed, as I wanted to capture a sharp image of the car in the turn. It's fascinating looking back at this older iteration of the RB18. During this video, watch how the car develops and evolves during the course of the year. The second image comes from the second test in Bahrain. This is also on the final day, again around sunset. Here, Red Bull have brought an update to the car. You can see a little bit of the aggressive undercut on the side pod. Max topped the timesheets in the session, and that sent ripples of panic throughout the paddock. Sunsets at the Sakura circuit are spectacular. The golden light just hangs in this warm evening air. It's really beautiful. I went for a rear-facing shot in this image because I wanted something a little bit different. I wanted the car pointing towards the sunset. Shooting into this direction definitely had the best light. The way Max was so relaxed at the start of the season around the paddock and him topping the timesheets on that final day of practice really gave you the sense that this was going to be a good year for Red Bull. Max looked strong in the season open in Bahrain, but it was Charles Leclerc that got pole position and would go on to win the race after Max Verstappen suffered some engine failure and was unable to finish the race. There were some epic wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles between Max and Charles. Charles got the better of Max, cleverly using a DRS to gain an advantage. By the second race, Max had adapted. This time, he came out on top in the duel. This shot is from the Jeddah circuit. It's of Max in front of the blue mosque, again taken at sunset. There's a bit of an orange theme going on here. This shot is taken with a very fast shutter speed, as the cars are coming through this corner at an incredibly high speed. I'm trying not to pan in this shot because I want the background to be as crisp as possible. I'm shooting through the fence here using a very wide angle. This limits the amount that I can move the camera, so that restricts how much you can pan. So to overcome that, I'm trying not to move the camera very much and waiting for the car to come in the shot and then shooting it at a very high shutter speed. It's a slightly different technique to how you'd normally photograph a car side on, but you have to adapt to what your situation allows you to do. Race four was at a very wet Imola circuit for the Emilia Romano Grand Prix in Italy. Charles had a very healthy lead in the championship and he was in front of his home fans. He took the lead in the sprint race and he looked like he was gonna dominate the weekend. However, Max came back towards the end of the sprint race and he was able to overtake Charles for the win. The shot I've selected from the race is this one of Max going through the Varianta Alta. His front wheel is in the air and he launches the car over these massive curbs. You can get really low down here and shoot up towards the car, which gives you a really dramatic angle as the cars are kind of flying through the air. It's an amazing corner. It's one of the few corners throughout the season that you can spend an entire session at and still leave thinking you've missed a shot. It was at this corner that Charles lost control of his car during the race. And you could probably argue it was at this point that he lost control of the championship. It was the first of a series of mistakes created by pressure that would undermine his ability to compete against Max. In the post-race analysis, there's a lot of emphasis on Charles's mistake. But what that ignores is what a perfect weekend it was for Max. He got pole position, he won the sprint race, he got the fastest lap, and he went on to win the race. And to top it off, his main rival finished way behind him. It was the start of a dominant run of 13 Grand Prix, 
where Max was on the podium 13 times, winning 10 of those races. Absolutely outstanding. While Max was able to win the race in Imola from pole position, it wasn't until the next race in Miami that we started to see what he could do from further down the grid. He started third on the grid, he powered past Sainz in the first corner, then hunted down Charles to take the win. I've chosen this shot of him celebrating with his girlfriend Kelly Piquet at the end of the race. Max has had incredible support from his family and friends throughout the year. I believe his father Jos has been at every race, usually sitting in the garage giving him a lot of support. His girlfriend Kelly attends most of the races, and in this image you see the passion that the two share. This is also a bit of a funny image, because while there's so much passion between Kelly and Max, his mum is standing next to Kelly and is looking on slightly awkwardly. The year has been full of extraordinary drives by Max, but his race in Barcelona was probably one of the more action-packed ones. He started from second place, but he made life more complicated for himself by spinning out. The recovery drive from that situation was quite remarkable. It was aided by some team orders, his teammate Sergio Perez moved aside to give him a place, but more significantly, Charles had engine trouble, forcing him to retire from the lead. The image that stands out from this race for me is the slow shutter speed shot of Max going through Dutch Corner. His orange army blurred in the background. He has so much passion and support wherever he travels, but it's always special seeing him in front of a wall of orange. I've taken this shot at a 30th of a second. It's a good speed to capture quite a lot of movement, but also to make sure the car is fairly sharp. While Max didn't win the Monaco Grand Prix, it was an important race for him in terms of damage limitation in the championship. He managed to finish ahead of his main rival, Charles Leclerc. I still don't understand how Ferrari managed to lose this race. They had a 1-2 at the start, and it's on a track that is notoriously difficult to overtake. Once you have that track position, the race is pretty much yours. Monaco has many stunning photographic opportunities, but capturing the cars coming out of the tunnel, I think is one of the best. There's beautiful warm tones in the tiles, and the cars are lit up against the black background of the tunnel. I've taken this image with a high shutter speed to make sure the car is crisp, even though it probably has a higher ISO than I would have liked. The Austrian Grand Prix is Red Bull's home race, and there were tens of thousands of Dutch fans coming over to celebrate. It's a real festival carnival atmosphere. This shot is a low shutter speed shot of Max in front of one of the Orange Army stands. I've taken it at a 25th of a second, blurring the crowd as he comes around the corner. The crowd here are amazing. Quite a lot of them camp, because there's not really many accommodation opportunities nearby. I've shot this at a 25th of a second. This allows me to blur the crowd in the background, but still retain some detail in the car. The crowd are such an intense part of this race, and it's great to be able to incorporate them somehow in my photograph. It looked like Ferrari had turned the corner, and it looked like they were possibly going to be able to take the fight to Red Bull. However, that wasn't to be, and in France, an unforced error by Charles caused him to be knocked out of the race. And then came Hungary. Hungary was probably Max's second best race of the season. He had an awful qualifying. He had engine troubles, which meant he didn't set a competitive time. At the end of the qualifying session, the top three drivers parked their cars up in front of the podium. The rest of the competitors parked their cars somewhere near the back. I'd taken this photograph of Max just as he's climbed out of his car and he's kind of walking his way through the parked cars. It's a bit of an unusual place for Max to be because he's usually in the top three. Those two white semicircles, which are adding a little bit of atmosphere to the shot, are shoulders and heads of people that I'm shooting past. It kind of gives this photograph a bit of a dystopian feel about it. There's Max in his race suit. It looks a little bit sort of science fiction-like. The race was a different story. He managed to produce one of the drives of the season. Coming from 10th place, carving his way through the field on a track that's notoriously difficult to overtake on. Even though he spun, he still managed to win the race. And it was here that we probably realized that the season was over and no one was gonna to touch him. Those sort of drives are exceptionally rare in Formula One. You hardly ever see a driver coming from 10th to go and win the race. They're exceptionally rare until Max and the next race in Spa, where he comes from 14th to win the race. This is Max's drive of the year for me. He starts in P14 because of a number of engine penalties related to that last race in Hungary. He then carves his way through the field and is leading by halfway. It was an exceptional drive and it really made it feel that you had Max and then 19 other drivers. He was in a league of his own. I've gone for this fist pump shot as he climbed out of his car to celebrate the win. 
There's so much emotion in his face. If you like this, I've actually turned it into a graphic, using Max's Orange Army as inspiration. This is available in my new store, printed on all sorts of things. Please let me know if there's any apparel that you'd like to see this image on that I haven't included here. If Spa was Max's most unbelievable race win, then Zandvoort was probably his most perfectly executed race weekend. He did have some trouble on the first practice session, but after that, everything was just perfect. He got pole position, he led from the start, got the fastest lap, even overcoming a very tricky safety car restart to win the race. It sounds easy, but there was so much pressure from the Dutch fans that this couldn't have been a simple weekend for him. My shot from the race is his team celebration photograph. Here he is celebrating with his teams and his fans setting off fireworks in the background. It's a brilliant sea of orange, Red Bull and joy. Max shows that he can be a driver that delivers even under the most extreme pressure. I'm, I'm actually going to cheat here a little bit and show you two images from this race. The second is this of Max in his pit box during FP3. I love the intensity in his eyes. I've blackened the dark areas around the car to kind of emphasize his face and the color of his helmet. You can see two hands from teammates burrowing into his cockpit. They're trying to attach his straps and the safety belt and make sure that everything is safe for him to go racing. It's actually quite a laborious process to strap a driver into a seat. And what always strikes me as quite amazing is how quickly they can get out of the car if they ever need to in case of emergency. The final image I'd like to share is this slow shutter speed shot of Max going through the Parabolica and Monza. This might start sounding a bit repetitive, but Max produced another sensational drive starting a bit further down the grid. He had a five place grid penalty, but he managed to overcome that to beat Charles in front of his home fans. Another sensational drive. It was yet another emphatic victory, underscoring how much better he's been than all his competitors this year. Despite Charles leading the race, there was always this inevitability that Max was going to catch him and overtake him and win the race. This shot was taken during qualifying. I was able to shoot it with a very slow shutter speed, a thirteenth of a second. The slower your shutter speed, the longer you can make the blurred lines in the background. But the greater risk you have of blurring your subject. That's one thing I love about photography, is that fine balance between creativity and control. Thank you for watching this review of Max Verstappen's championship winning season. I hope you've enjoyed it. What were your favourite moments of the season? And how many more races do you think Max is going to win before the end of the year? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me to grow the channel. The next race is going to be in Austin, Texas. See you there.